Hey guys, this is Four Feet. Welcome to our channel. Now let's talk about sublimation socks. Just a brief introduction to us guys. Um, so Four Feet, we make sublimation socks. Um, we've been around for almost like three or four months now. Um, it's going well. These are all our current designs at the moment. If you'd like to uh, have a look, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, but yeah, we'll get right into the video today. Today we'll be talking about um, how to overcome the common uh, overlap problem with uh, sublimation socks. Uh, for those who run a sublimation sock business, you'd know what I mean. Um, when you sublimate socks, um, because you sublimate both sides, um, it commonly creates an overlap on the sides. So it creates a bleed where uh, after you sublimate the result, there's a line on the edge here. And that's a common problem because um, you know, of the overall aesthetic look, it doesn't look like a complete look because there's that line running through the sides. So um, at Four Feet, we have a technique that we use. But just a heads up, this technique does take uh, a little bit longer than the regular method, uh, simply because um, you add uh, some things on the side to prevent this problem. Anyway, we'll get straight into it. Uh, so hope you enjoy the video. So essentially what you'll need for this method is some captain tape, which is uh, heat proof tape. You can just get these on eBay. This one's really thin, about five millimeters. That's all you need really. I think I recommend using the thin ones because they're easier to, to use, but this is the most important um, part of this video. You need this capped on tape. So I'll leave the description in, in I'll leave the link in the description, sorry. So you need that capped on tape, you need a pair of scissors. Obviously you need all the sublimation gear. This is a, uh, yeah, that stuff, the heat, the, uh, heat press, the computer, printer. And we'll get right into it. Let's start printing. So guys, I got Photoshop open here. Um, oh, if you don't use Photoshop, I really recommend you use Photoshop. That's probably the you know the best program you can use um, for a sock sublimation template kind of thing. Um, if you want a template, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, this is the template we use uh, to print both sides of the socks. Anyway, the main um, concept of this method is that one of the prints. Um, the width is a bit shorter than the jig. If you look at the jig, this one, this is a jig, jig that we use. I actually handmade this. Um, but this one's 12 centimeters wide. So the main idea is to make one of the prints a little bit shorter than, than the width of the jig. So I would make mine about 11.5 centimeters. So this one here, this is a custom design that I'm doing for a client. Um, so this, this one, it would be I would make it 11.5 centimeters width. So I can change that um, in the link, sorry, in the feature here, and uh, just change the width here, 11.5, or whatever the size your, your jig is, whatever it is, make it a little bit shorter. And then one of the um, other designs, this one on the right, um, you can make it longer than the width. Um, so it covers the, the whole print. But anyway, I know you're confused at the moment, but we'll, We'll uh, see what happens when we print it. So let's print this out. Okay guys, if you're wondering, we use the Epson Workforce 7710. Just to let you guys know, the printer we got when we started the business um, and it works really well. I mean, never really had many problems with it. Um, some of the features, you know, it's touch screen, got a lot of maintenance um, features. Um, you know, you can go all the way, the size paper of the size, you can go A5 all the way to A3. So really good for a sock business. So if you want a nice and affordable printer for a sublimation business, definitely I recommend this one. All right, let's get started. So what you want to do first is uh, obviously heat your heat press up. We turn it up to about 185 degrees, whatever you guys prefer. And what you do first is you obviously cut the print. Now what we do is we get the first small print. Um, this print is for the back of the sock. So I, I recommend doing the back of the sock as the small size. Um, and you'll see the reason why later. So what you first want to do is you want to cut this small size right to the rim of the edge. Literally the rim of the edge. 
because that side is the side we're going to print on the back but it needs to be uh, perfectly in, placed in the middle um, and you'll see the reason why anyway I'll cut it up first okay so before you actually sublimate the print on here and a really important part of this method is you need to first you need to roll the edges inside on the back side so roll the edges inside and the reason for that that's a really good question is because when you print uh, so when you print this small side on this side the print is going to be uh, really small compared to the width because if you remember we made the print uh, a little bit shorter on the width than the actual jig and the reason for that is because so that we can roll it up all the way on the side so if you don't understand it's all right but make sure at the start you roll it inwards on the side that you're going to print well, usually before I sublimate I uh, like to pre-press the sock and that's a really good idea because it makes sure that you have a flat surface when you when you sublimate the sock so So a very important part, this is the uh, small print that we created, remember this is the 11.5 centimeter one or whatever is in relation to your jig um, and this should, this should be a little bit smaller compared to the actual jig. If you look at it here, if you place it in the middle, this is actually a little bit smaller than the jig itself. Anyway, so place it where you like it. Make sure you place it in the center then. That's very important. Um, and let's see. Yeah, that looks good. So I'll leave it there in the middle. You don't need to add any ad adhesive or any tape at the moment because, you know, it's in the middle. And it's done. That beeping sound is killing me at the moment. I hate it. But so let's see how it looks. And it looks great. The print has transferred really well. Um, so if you have a look here, you can tell that I know a lot of you that use sublimation, uh, that make sublimation socks. When you overlap the whole side of the sock. There's um, an edge on the side, and usually the edge on the side, um, when you overlap the whole sock, is blurred. It's not as straight as this line, if you look at it. And the reason for that is because um, when you overlap the whole sock, the ink kind of spreads on the side. It doesn't really stop on the edge, and that's how sublimation works, you know. Um, and because it's blurry, there's no point where you can actually cover so that it doesn't overlap and that's us, that's the main problem here and at four feet we realized that and so we that's why we made the uh the the width of the design shorter so that we can get an actual clean straight line here so that we can cover it really well okay so the next stage is really important so get the tech captain tape that you have i told you about the five millimeter heat proof tape and what you need to do with this let me just find the end so what you need to do with this is you need to cover those clear edge lines that we created with the small width design. So it's so clear that you can just cover it with tape. So get the captain tape and go throughout the whole length of the sock and cover those lines. Make sure you cover it really well. Nice. Make sure you cover it really well. So just cover the lines. This result will be a lot better than when you don't use this method. It's just that, like I said at the start, it takes a bit more time. Um, you know, it takes us about 15 to 20 minutes to make a pair, depending on the design. Um, but we value our customers and we want the customers to be satisfied with the results. So, you know, we take the extra time to do this method so that there's no 
complaints really. <laughs> but in, anyway, just do this, take your time. And there we go. So at the end it should look kind of like this. So both sides have tape on them, but you shouldn't see any you know, bleed on the side. It should be completely covered with that tape. And so I'm sure you figured it out by now. When you do the other side, the ink actually won't overlap the ink, the current ink, because it has capped on tape on top. So that's why we can make a clean look without the lines on the side. And if you remember, before we sublimated this side, we rolled it in. We rolled it inside. So the reason for that is so that we can roll it back out easily because because the design is so small on the width usually when you i'm sure you all know the roll of roll technique that you roll it out a little bit but because the the design is so so much inside on this side you need to roll it out quite quite far and that's the reason why we rolled it in so that we can there's more stretch length that we can roll it out if you look at it like this it stretches out a lot and the reason for that is because we rolled it in and so just, I'm sure you all know this method, just roll it in until you get, you know, around the edge, just like so. And pretty much after this method, you just need to sublimate the way you usually do it. You just sublimate it normally. And the result will be a lot better because there will be no overlap and you won't see that annoying line on the side. Anyway, so just lay the design on top, like so. Make sure that it's in the position that you want it. Let me just double check. There we go, just lay it on top. What we used to do, we used to tape it down or add ad adhesive spray. Adhesive spray didn't really work for us. I didn't really like it. Um, so we used to tape it, but, you know, I don't really like wasting capped on tape because it's not cheap tape. So shouldn't use it like that but you know i can just flip it over like this and it'll just stay in position easy as that but whatever you like whatever you're comfortable with um and so just lay it down like so look at that nice vibrant colors but let's see how the edges look that's the whole point of this video isn't it Take this off, the Captain tape. What we do, we just pull it off usually. Let's see. And look at that. You know, it's not gonna be perfect. Nothing, you know, in sublimation is gonna look perfect, but the edges look much cleaner than when you got that massive line on the side. Um, especially for solid colors like this, or if you use light colors, it's even worse, so. You know, if you use this method, you're just gonna, you know, save so much um, complaints that you're gonna get from your customers. And this is what we do, we value our customers. So, you know, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, comment down below what you guys do, any suggestions that you have for us, um, or if you, help, if you found this helpful, see how you guys went with this method. Um, you know, but yeah, if you have a look, look at that looks great. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to have a look at our socks that we sell, we're, we're Melbourne based and we sell in Australia, but we're thinking of um, offering international shipping soon. But um, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, but yeah, so guys, all the best with that. Um, and I hope you all go well. Peace.